Easter eggs in video games cover a wide range of topics, from secret rooms to secret messages, hidden weapons to movie references to stuff being hidden out of bounds and to the creepy wacky and what the f Easter eggs and some of which we may never understand. And in today's video, me and the awesome odd header are going to cover a compilation of Easter eggs from every topic above that we have mashed together to bring you an episode of super secret Easter eggs in video games. Thank you so much again, James. I'm hugely excited to be back on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe to both me and James if you want to see more collaborations like this in the future. Yumi Nikki and Nightmare House 2. During the 2004 psychological horror Yumi Nikki, it is when you visit the Pink Sea that you can venture into Ponico's house and switch off the main light. Where in doing so, there is a 1 in 64 chance that the player will be greeted by a creepy looking character known as a Yu Boa which if you decide to touch, you'll be whisked off to an utterly bizarre, disturbing, and creepy, endless world. And it would appear that the Uboa has a lasting effect on many developers, since it has appeared in various video games including the first-person shooter and free-to-play mod Nightmare House 2. As once you reach Chapter 4 known as Operation, you will have to wander through a dark and creepy hospital, where to the left you can discover the maintenance room. And if you happen to smash the crates resting up against these generators, you reveal a hidden switch that if you press constantly, then it's behind you where you find the Uboa appears. One of the oldest and reoccurring easter eggs to be found in Bohemia Interactive's armor series, a secret that in fact dates back to 2007, happens to be hidden at the bottom of many of the chimneys that are dotted about the game, and in this case we'll be using armor 2 with the DayZ mod attached, as it is to the far south of Chunarus that you can find the industrialized city of Chunagorsk, where to the east there are several factories sporting large chimneys and ladders attached allowing you to climb all the way to the top where you can get to grips of the surrounding area, take note of the enemy's position, and you can also peer inside the chimney where you will discover a rather creepy looking Santa Claus. Brothers in Arms, Hell's Highway. Next up is Gearbox Software's Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway, which is home to some rather wacky Easter eggs. Attack them! Fight, but there's one that's rather difficult to activate and it's quite surprising it was ever discovered. You see an Operation Garden at the ground position. Your squad will enter a warehouse immediately after starting. You should turn around and look out for the gap between the large metal door, where you will spot a tall building to your left and it is here where you need to shoot around the top right corner of this ledge. Then you need to head back inside and shoot the corner of this large beam and then head to this pillar and look up to the roof and shoot this part of the brickwork. We are not exactly sure where you're meant to be hitting because the visual clues don't really stand out, and that's after inspecting these sections by using no clip. But if you do happen to get this just right, then magically at the other end of the room, a mysterious mutating orb will float up from the floor and transport you to a secret room that contains two amazing weapons to utilize.
Developers LucasArts have always tucked away decent Easter eggs within their adventure games. But where do babies come from? What are you, a pervert? What's wrong with you? And in the 1999 action-adventure title Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, there is a secret bonus level here you can play that sees Indy return to Peru and the same location he discovered the Golden Idol in Raiders of the Lost Ark. I had that idol in my hand. It's a really cool feature, but the main secret lurks towards the end of the level where you will come across this large boulder. Now normally you would jump down, dislodge the boulder, then continue on with the mission. But if you were to return to the top where you first saw the boulder, you'll now notice you'll be able to jump across the gap and enter a secret hallway sporting five mysterious panels. That, if pressed in the correct order, not only will you hear that famous tune from Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind, but you will also unlock a secret room featuring a model of the Devil's Tower and find a UFO that is flying around just outside the window. Fear, Perseus Mandate. In the Perseus Mandate, an expansion for Monolith Productions' 2005 survival horror title Fear, First Encounter Assault Recon, you can discover an amusing message located towards the end of the game during Interval 7's clone production segment. As just after Alma has appeared, you have to take down a few soldiers and then arrive at this large platform, where if you happen to look over the edge you will spot various walkways and a large void below which you can actually jump down into by hitting T and punching in the God command. It's an area you're definitely not meant to get in. And where, yeah, there is certainly no escape. And if you take out your flashlight and examine the walls here, then you will eventually stumble upon this secret message that reads, I suck at making maps. This message is more than likely a reference to the same exact messages developers would use as a mean of motivating level designers to replace missing textures during the development of Doom 64. A topic I actually discussed before on my own channel if you want to check out my video 10 Craziest Out of Bounds Discoveries in Video Games. In Surreal Software's 2004 psychological horror The Suffering, Ties That Bind, it is during the earlier part of the game when you need to pass through the pawn shop and it's just in the back where you should check out the toilet as by switching off the light, turning on the tap, flushing the toilet three times, turning off the tap and flicking the light back on, that amazingly a strange looking weapon will appear at the front of the store that actually now needs to be destroyed. After carrying out these steps you need to head out back and help Ajira take care of all the upcoming deadly creatures and then proceed into the back room of this building, where for some utterly bizarre reason this character known as Captain Carafe will smash through the wall and immediately start to attack you with an incredibly powerful secret weapon known as the Swizzle Stick, which you can take for yourself after killing Captain Carafe, a character who was originally going to be the Kool-Aid Man, but due to potential copyright issues, he was changed into a Carafe glass container to honour the memory of a bunch of sangrias the team shared at a local bar found in Fremont. Call of Duty United Offensive Expansion Pack Call of Duty was created by developers Infinity Ward and released on October 29, 2003. And just under a year later, Grey Matter Interactive Studios had produced an expansion pack for the game known as United Offensive, bringing with it 12 brand new missions, additional weapons, vehicles, and bonus extra modes and maps to the multiplayer option. Anyway, it's during the second mission where not only can you find a tribute to Valve's Half-Life in the form of Private Gordon and Private Freeman, but you can also discover a rather odd secret tucked away in a sealed off cellar, hidden below a random farmhouse which is located just to the west of your starting position. After taking out the Germans surrounding the home's courtyard, you'll be able to enter the house where immediately to your left you can find this door, which as far as anybody knows can never actually be opened. But if you happen to open up console commands and punch in no clip, you can now pass through the door and wander into this secret room where you will discover a giant cow sporting a rather large cowbell. It's not known exactly why this is here, but developers in Infinity Ward seem to have a fixation with cows, especially in their earlier Call of Duty titles.
In 2014, indie developer Luca Basiga brought us the survival horror adventure Slender The Gaze of Horror, a game based upon Parsec Productions' popular Slender title, The Eight Pages. However, instead of wandering around a dark and creepy forest, the gaze of horror is set in a derelict, disturbing asylum where you must collect eight pages in order to unlock the main gate and allowing us to exit this nightmare. But instead of doing just that, you can actually exit the game via a secret room which is located on the other side of the asylum after gathering up the final page. And if you manage to avoid Slender, who is extremely aggressive at this point, then you'll be treated to this rather wacky Easter egg. Well that's just about it from Odd and myself and I'd just like to say Odd thank you so much for giving up your free time and for helping out with this episode and I cannot wait to do this again in the future. And don't forget to subscribe to Odd Header so you don't miss out on all his amazing content.